All right, I guess we're doing this. I am Live the Truth, and today I am reacting to the One Piece live action episode six, The Chef and the Chore Boy. The last episode, episode five, I did my man Sanji a disservice because unfortunately my favorite character, Mihawk, also appeared the same episode he did. And Mihawk kind of took the episode away, but Sanji did have a great introduction. Him with his uh, very precise detail to cooking, wanted to cook more than just what his menu had, him be feeling stifled and limited. But him also whooping some ass, kicking some butt in um, for, with his kicks immediately when he came out and then him flat with Nami like we all knew he would. But uh, Sanji did have some pretty good showings, him feeding Jin. Jin came in making that food. Thing looked so good I wanted to eat it. Uh, but I wonder how they're going to expand upon his character and how they're going to get him to join Luffy in this episode. Live action was hitting a lot of left turns, right turns here and there and I don't really know where to go even though I feel like I'm being taken to the same destination. But I'm enjoying it all the same so I can't wait to get into this episode. Without further ado, One Piece live action, episode six. Let's go. Where's the first aid kit? Do we even sir? have a first aid kit? What if we come into a hard realization here, man? Like, yeah. That's what happens when you're on death's door, Luffy. We pirates. Y'all pirates. I'm really not hungry right now, Nami. Is that what you mean? I can tell just by looking at that, but that rumor line needs a lot more oregano. The oregano's for savages. Oregano's for savages. Help! Help! Zoro, Zoro needs a doctor! Fine. Bring me my kitchen knives and a bottle of our best whiskey. And a fresh yellow towel. And a cooler. Bigger the better. Yellow towel? Just do it already. A yellow towel? What? Uh, how you gonna use a fish to heal someone? I like that. Uh, <laughs> I like Sandy's one piece opening card. That's great. They had the little eyebrow thing. Sew it up and put fish skin on top of it. Tell him stories, send him sea shanties for luck, yeah. Keep him wanting to live. I can't believe he sewed him up and then put fish on it. Oh, wow. That's some pirate life lessons for sure. Who knows? Maybe your grandson will be the one to find the one piece after all. I'm dead, Kobe. Garp told you about that mishearing habit of yours. <laughs> I I can't tell if he's happy, man. Say so maniacal. <laughs> oh, last can mean a hundred different things in this show, in this anime, in this in One Piece. I love it. <laughs> told me that making decisions is what separates a captain from the rest of his crew. And he was one of the best pirate captains that ever sailed the seas. Seth was a pirate? Yeah. Captain of the dreaded cook pirates. The, the dreaded cook, cook pirates. Red leg is that. How you two meet? Were you on his crew or something? Not exactly. Ooh, flashback. Nine years ago, he's blue. Flashback. Okay. And here, when the pirates come along, Kid Sanji looks <laughs> looks adorable. I'm dead. They really were soaked in blood. <laughs> they were really soaked red. Ain't no place like home, huh, Zeth? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, I can help for seven. Nice try there, leg plant. But I'm not gonna die here. Not until I find the old blue. You just talking, Sanji. So you tell me, what does their leg plant know about the old blue? Oh jeez, the whole shit. My goodness. What happened? Storm. Sunk both our ships. But but the crew. They're all dead. Except for us. This is all the food we got. So eat slow. There's no more after this. Why do you get the bigger one? Because I'm three times your size, that's why. You know something? You should be glad that I'm giving you anything at all. Yeah, you ain't going down there, kid. You ain't going down there, kid. Oh man, that's rough. day thirty. Oh man, that's rough. Down to your last moldy piece of bread. You gotta eat it. I can't even day seventy. I can't. Oh, it hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. All treasure, all gold, jewels, bag full of treasure. Told you not to come over to the side, dog. Ah, oh, man. You ate it. You ate your own leg. How do you respond to that? <laughs> because we are that blind. I have been searching for the old blue. You share the same dream as me. Believe me, the old blue is real. And I'm going to need you to fulfill that dream. Above hey, all uh, these emotions. Man, really thought yo, this is it for me. I'm packing it up, kid. When someone lose a limb to save your life, instead he acted like a captain. He made the tough call. I need both arms and legs to save someone's life. <laughs> I don't think that's a takeaway, Louie, but okay. Sometimes, <laughs> when you are in charge, you have to make the tough decisions. Why does everybody keep saying that? Because you could have saved Zoro. He didn't have to fight Mihawk, but you let it happen. Why didn't you stop him? I did anything to save him. Anything. Except stand in the way of his dream. We all have dreams, but we outgrow them. Is that really what you think? Don't you have a dream? Not everyone gets to follow. Karobi and Chu. Interesting choice of words. You have food here, don't you? You want to eat? I'm afraid there are no more tables. I see a bunch of tables. 
Uh oh. Where are you, old man? My name is Zeph. And I own this place. Well, I'm Arlong. And I own the East Blue. No one owns a seat. <laughs> hey. Fishman will tear this place apart if that doesn't turn him over. Well, where you... In comes Luffy. Who was asking? I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I hear you're looking for me. I mean, yes, I am. Hey, a straw hat! Did you miss me? Buggy. <laughs> Burpy! Looking pretty bad here, Luffy. Just like I said I would. Not me. What are you doing? I tried to tell you, Luffy. I was never on your crew. <sighs> Here it is. And the Arlong tattoo on the side. I don't believe that. That's because you only believe what you want to believe. Why waste your time killing a devil fruit eater? The sea do it for you. Try to give him a chance, but oh man, this is so bad. Not. <laughs> Gotta stand by your side from now until the end, until we find the One Piece and die trying. You think we brought too much? You know who you're sailing with? Mm hmm. 
Probably not enough. All honesty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sanji! You keep your feet dry. <laughs> I owe you my life. Thank you for putting up with my shit all these years, old man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'll never forget you, Zeph. Gotta keep your feet dry, Sanji. <laughs> oh, man. We're going after Nami, but how are we going to find her? Yeah, we don't even know where she is. I know someone who does. Who you ain't gonna give us hands? <laughs> Come on, quit being so conspicuous. <laughs> he grabbed buggy. Buggy the gesture. That's what I am talking about. Oh man. Oh man, this this episode was great, powerful, emotional. This is this is the kind of episode where it's not it's not just you know an adaptation. They are they are acting out here, ladies and gentlemen. We got actors on the screen acting, and it is good. They are acting their asses off. Sanji's performance. Look, first of all, Luffy's conversation. Luffy, the whole episode, going through the motions, you know, what it means to be a captain, making those decisions. You know, everyone keeps telling me you gotta make those decisions because you do and you gotta be okay with it. And Luffy, you know, saying, Zoro, I know what I need to say to you. I need you. And I need you to wake up. And Zoro, like, okay, then I'm here for you, captain. You are my captain, so I am here for you. Zoro the officially ride or die. When it comes to Luffy and Zoro, that dynamic duo, almost unmatched. Sanji coming in here now, him with his good vibe to, to Zeph. First of all, Zeph basically kicking him onto the straw hat. Sanji like, well, you know, I got an invite. Well, go, you want permission? Go. Go out and find the, find the all blue. Chase your dream. Don't just have it, chase it. And I love this aspect of chasing your dreams, going after it. Because once Sanji got on board and once, you know, it was realized both by both of them that he was going after it, you know, it was, he said what he wanted to say. You know, keep your feet dry. That quote was a very powerful quote. A lot of Sanji fans, a lot of One Piece fans know that quote. I love that they brought it here. Still had him say it, you know, keep your feet dry. And yeah, it broke Sanji, nearly broke me. But man, Sanji's rebuttal, you know, he owes his life to Zeph, and he does. To, to think they went 85 days, 85 days. And by day 70, you know, Sanji ran out of food, Zeph ate his leg. So by day seven, that was by day seven, they still went like two weeks. Who knows how they were looking by the time they got out of that. And you know, Sanji felt like he needed to do everything for Zeph, and Zeph felt like he was on him back. So it was all beautiful. You know, the father-son dynamic there was was powerful, it was palpable. You can you can feel it through the screen. I don't even know how much I talked during that. I was just so absorbed, and I love this adaptation for doing that, for having uh, the, <laughs> albeit cheesy but still cartoony season one and one piece action, and the the powerful dramatic scenes, knowing Nami's perspective, seeing the Arlong tattoo, her saying, "Hey, he's a duff for you to drop him in the water." knowing or I guess at least hoping someone would dive in and save him once they get up out of there. It, it was all beautiful, all perfect. I, I loved the episode, episode six. I loved it all. I have been Live the Truth. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. I'm out.